Hello friends and welcome to yet another exhilarating video of Wisdom Zone and this is Shubhro and today I have the seventh session of practice spoken English and become more fluent and proficient in your spoken English and today I am going to discuss about WH questions and how we can frame WH questions and how to use them in your everyday English conversation. So you guessed it correctly if you are looking for some great English practice related to WH questions. So this video is just for you. And again, it is my earnest request to all the viewers. Please watch this video carefully until the end and do not skip it. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait and subscribe to Wisdom Zone and hit the bell icon so that you can get the first notification whenever this type of informative video is published. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So friends, welcome once again to the seventh session of practice spoken English and this video is for English speaking practice and today I am going to discuss WH questions and how to frame WH questions in your everyday English conversation. So before I move forward and discuss, let me quickly remind all the viewers that I have provided links of the first six parts in the description. So if you haven't checked them, please go through them. That's going to help you. Those videos are quite imperative and they are going to help you immensely to develop your overall communication and become more fluent. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with today's discussion. So today we are going to discuss, at first we will try to understand the WH questions, what exactly they are. Secondly, we are also going to learn how to form and use WH questions. And thirdly, we will learn types of WH questions in English. And we will also see so many WH questions how to frame them and how to use them and how to respond to the WH question. We will see all the sentences and questions. So without further ado, let us get started. At first, as you see on your screen, I'm going to discuss WH questions. So you must be wondering what exactly it is. So let me tell you, they are very important. WH questions are questions including letters WH. You will find those questions where the letter W H. these two letters are all there in WH question. They are also called question words. As you see, we use question words to ask certain types of questions in English, right? So uh, let us see, for example, as you see on your screen, what and how. Here, these two are WH words and these are also used to frame WH questions, right? So here you see that these two letters WH, both of them are present in these two particular WH words like what you have wh and how there also you have wh right so i hope it's crystal clear and how to frame them and exactly uh, why they are called wh questions because they have these two letters wh so up next we are also going to see the second important thing which you see on your screen how to form wh questions and how to use them so let me break it up one by one as you see on your screen, so I'll show you the first way to form WH question is to use WH word. As I have already discussed WH words like what, how, okay, when these are WH words, we have to use them. Plus you have to use the auxiliary verb and then the subject and then you have to add the main verb. Okay, like this way you can form a WH question. This is the syntax. So, as you see, some auxiliary verbs are given. Some common auxiliary verbs are do, be, would, can, could, must, should, may, might. These auxiliary verbs are commonly used. And apart from that, few more are there. But primarily, these are used to form WH questions. Right? So let's see some examples of WH questions. The first is, as you see on your screen, where is she going? That means I am here using where, which is the WH word and following it up with the auxiliary is and then the subject and the main verb is going. Similarly, you can see the next example, why should we go out? So here also I'm using WH word why, then following up with the auxiliary should, right? And like this way, we can frame WH questions. The second rule is, as you see on your screen, without using auxiliary verbs, we can also frame WH questions without using auxiliary verbs. So let's see how to do it. And for that, the syntax is your screen. You have to use WH word plus main verb. 
so let's see some example what happened to him so here i'm directly using wh word what and following it up with the main verb okay that what happened to him there is no auxiliary so we can also respond to it like this a bad accident happened to him right so see the next question who told you who told you here also i am following who with verb main verb okay and there is no auxiliary verb so that is also one way to use wh question so the answer is his neighbor told me and the last one which you see who called you here also i am using the wh word who and following it up with called which is the main verb so answer is my brother called me this is also another way to frame wh questions so i'm quite sure it's crystal clear there are two ways to form wh question one i have already discussed before where we use wh what plus auxiliary plus subject plus main verb and the second way to form is to just directly use wh word and follow it up with the main verb okay so up next i am going to discuss wh questions in details which one is to use in which context i'll, I'll talk about types of wh questions up next we are also going to talk about the types of wh words right and in which context we can use them so the first one is what what is used to ask for information things it is so we use what wh word to frame a question which is going to ask for information or things so let's see the example what is your name so you see here i am asking for information that is name the answer is my name is troy walter so like this way you can ask wh question please follow the questions please follow the answers carefully and practice yourself so let's see the second one second one is what do you know about me so here also i am using wh question and i am using what to ask about some information right what do you know about me that means i am asking for some information so i don't know anything about you this is the answer that's the way you can frame wh question using wh word what which is used to ask for information and things so up next we will see the second one second wh word is when when is used to ask about time frame questions about time only so let's see some examples when did he go so i am asking about a specific time he left 2 hours ago so like this way you can answer so let's see another example when will you come back so again i am asking about a specific time using when as i already mentioned wh word which is used to ask about time so i'll be back in an hour so like this way you can respond so up next we will turn our attention to the third wh word that is where so where is used to frame question to ask for places and positions so let's see the first question where are you now so here i'm asking someone's position where exactly that person is where exactly in which place that person is okay i'm asking about the person's present location so as you see, and the answer is given i am standing outside your room so let's see the second question using where where do you live so i am asking about the person's place where exactly that person lives i live in kolkata so like this way one can respond so i hope it's crystal clear where is used to ask for places positions locations clear so up next we will see the fourth wh word which is who who is primarily used to ask about people so let's see how to frame questions using wh word who who is your favorite actor so like this way you can ask someone about someone's favorite actor who is your favorite actor that means you are asking about the person my favorite actor is tom hanks okay similarly you can see the second example who called you last night so i am asking about the person who called my best friend sam called me last night so like this way you can use wh word who to frame questions wh questions to ask about people so i am quite sure it's clear who is used to frame questions to ask about people so up next we will focus on the fifth one which is why why wh word is used to ask about reasons causes 
we frame questions to ask about reasons and causes so let's see some example why are you so angry so i'm asking the reason why the person is so angry i'm angry because my brother broke my mobile that's the reason i'm quite sure it's clear so let's see the second one why did he come late so again i'm asking the reason why did he come late right he came late because he missed the office cab so i'm quite sure it's clear how to frame question using why why is used to frame questions to ask about the reason or cause of something this is also a very important wh question which you can use why wh word is used to frame questions just to ask about reasons and causes up next we will see the sixth one the sixth one is how so how wh word is used to ask about manners and that's why we frame question wh question using how to ask about manner of someone how may i help you and the which manner i may help you. yes please send me the details so like this way you can also ask someone so to see the next example how was your day don't ask it was hectic so you can ask someone how was your day how was the manner how was the condition i hope it's clear so up next we will see the seventh one seventh one is whom whom is used to ask about what or which person or people so it is specifically asking about what or which person or people so let's see some example it's going to be easier for you to understand whom did you meet in the office so i'm asking about specific person whom did you meet right i met mr parker our ceo so i hope it's crystal clear here i have to use whom not who the next one is as you see whom was she talking to that means i'm asking about which person as i already mentioned which person or people so which person that was talking right so she was talking to her new private tutor so i'm quite sure it's crystal clear so last one is number 8 one that is the wh word whose so the wh word whose is used to ask about ownership who owns something as clear as it is so let's see some examples i think it's going to be quite easier for you to understand whose book is this you normally say that means who's the owner of this book this is sam's book whose hat is this it's mine so this is mine because i am the owner of it right so i hope it's crystal clear how to use it so today we discussed all the important wh questions and the wh words and we also learned how to use those wh words to frame wh questions so i'm quite sure you understood how to use wh questions and how to frame wh questions using wh words i have shown you the syntax how to form them i have explained you step by step i have given so many examples please go through the examples again and again and practice and rehearse and incorporate them in your everyday english conversation and i'm quite sure you found this video extremely helpful as usual and this series is going to continue so to get the first notification of uh, this type of informative videos you have to quickly subscribe to wisdom zone and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss a single video from this particular channel right so stay tuned for further informative videos and do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to wisdom zone